Hi, I'm Dan Other. I'm the Mathis Chair of Environmental Engineering at Missouri University of Science and Technology, and you're in our home at the Solar Village on the s and campus. We're really uh, trying to green our lifestyle, look into a more sustainable lifestyle. One of, the, one of the critical areas of that is actually picking a size of home that's appropriate for the size of family. And so for the three of us, 700 square feet is more than enough to make home. And I think many of us in the Midwest, in the United States, we think about 2,000 square feet, 3,000 square feet, four bedrooms, three baths. In reality, in most of the world, if we think about the developing world, lots of folks still live in one-room huts. When we think about the United States, we think about a place like Manhattan, where folks are actually pretty wealthy, they may pay two or three thousand dollars a month to rent a 700 square foot apartment. So when you start thinking about actually a family of three living in 700 square feet, it's actually pretty common. It's just something that we don't think about a whole lot here in the Midwest. But within the house itself, it has a number of very interesting features. I think most interesting is the ability to capture solar energy and turn it into hot water, which we use both for the heating during the winter as well as for our showers and for uh, hot water from the sink. But it also turns solar power into electricity, which can actually set in batteries here in the house for us to use on days when it's overcast. But interestingly, we can actually sell that power back to the grids. So there's a number of appliances in the solar house that are, that are quite interesting. We have uh, ultra-efficient refrigerator, we have a combination microwave oven and, and convection oven together in one unit, but one of the ones that we've really gotten into is the range top. So it's an electric range top, but it's not like your conventional electric range. It actually is an induction. So in other words, there's electricity running in a magnet in the range, and that magnet actually transfers the magnetic power to your ferrous iron, you know, in other words, your stainless steel or your cast iron pot. And that's actually how it heats up by magnet. So when you touch the range top, it's actually cool, but the vessel itself actually heats up. One of the things that we've had to do is in, in choosing to live intentionally is actually be much more, um, much more pragmatic about what things actually matter. And we've recognized it's all just stuff, and we're picking the stuff that actually is, is useful for us. Technology goes a long way towards helping you make those choices. Uh, for instance, when you're working with magazines, lots of us accumulate magazines in the bathroom, accumulate magazines in the living room. We actually do our magazines through the iPad. That allows us to have them electronically. That reduces the consumption of paper and allows us to, to use the magazines and reduce the storage space. So we're really looking at how do you use technology to save energy and to, to simplify your life.